I like money, but unfortunately, I don't have a lot of it. So I try to be frugal when I can, but the care of a luscious beard requires the maintenance of an arsenal of beard care products, which can take its toll on the wallet. As a cost-saving measure, I started making my own beard oil about a year ago. On Amazon, a bottle of beard oil can run you between $10 and $15, but if you make it yourself at home, you can make a bottle of beard oil for about $1.50. Before we talk about how to make beard oil, let's do a quick refresher on why we use it. And to do that, we must turn, once again, to science. The skin of your face naturally produces an oil called sebum, which moisturizes your skin, has some antifungal and antimicrobial properties, and offers you some UV protection. Sebum is secreted by a gland at the base of each of your hair strands. The gland secretes the sebum into the hair strand, which then distributes it to the skin that it comes in contact with. Problems arise as your beard gets longer because the sebaceous glands stay the same size. This means that the same amount of sebum that gets concentrated close to your face with a short beard gets spread across a longer hair. So you have a lower concentration of sebum in your hair, and the longer hair comes in less contact with your face, depositing lower amounts of sebum onto your skin. The moral of the story is, the longer your beard gets, and the cooler you look because of it, the drier and itchier the skin underneath the beard is going to become. So we apply beard oil to our beards to increase the amount of oil in the hair, which then moisturizes the skin underneath the hair. It also softens the hair of your beard and gives it a nice healthy shine. So let's save some money and make our own. In order to make your own beard oil, you'll need some one ounce dropper bottles, some kind of liquid measuring device, and a condiment squeezy bottle. Now that we have our equipment ready to go, let's contemplate the oils we're going to use. At this stage of the game, we are only talking about carrier oils, not essential oils. Carrier oils are neutral, lightly scented, and largely non-reactive oils that can generally be used safely in direct contact with your skin. Essential oils are something completely different, and we'll discuss them later. There are a number of good options for carrier oils to use in beard oil, which can all be either used alone or in any combination. They include apricot kernel oil, avocado oil, argan oil, fractionated coconut oil, primrose oil, flaxseed oil, grapeseed oil, hemp seed oil, jojoba oil, kukui oil, macadamia oil, neem seed oil, olive oil, sunflower oil, shea oil, and sweet almond oil. Which oils you choose is completely up to you. Pick ones with health benefits that you like. You do want to think about the weight of the oil though. Heavier weight oils will add some body to your beard, but they also leave your hair feeling a little greasy. Lighter weight oils, on the other hand, won't add a lot of body to your beard, but they also won't leave behind any greasy residue. You also want to look for oils that are cold pressed, and this means that the oil is extracted from the plant material by crushing it. This is opposed to expressed oils, which extract the oil through the use of harsh chemicals. For my oil, I've chosen to use sweet almond oil, jojoba oil, argan oil, grapeseed oil, and fractionated coconut oil because they're all pretty lightweight and they'll give my beard a healthy infusion of essential nutrients. Now my squeezy bottle holds about 350 milliliters. So 350 milliliters divided by five oils is 70 milliliters each. Now hang tight while I measure that out. And there we go, 350 milliliters of oil. Now let's clear some of this mess. Once the oil is mixed, I just transfer it into the squeezy bottle.
This allows me to make more than one ounce at a time and makes filling the one ounce bottles a total breeze. Just open the top, invert the bottle, and squeeze the oil into your one ounce dropper bottle. Just be careful not to overfill your bottles. You want to leave enough room to insert the dropper back into the bottle without displacing oil over the lip and making a giant mess. You also want to leave some room for some essential oils if you'd like to add some fragrance. A good rule of thumb is not to fill the bottle past its shoulder. Speaking of fragrances, scents are added to beard oil using essential oils. Now, if you're going to use essential oils, please be careful. These are highly concentrated substances that can be quite irritating to skin if used directly on it. Essential oils should always be diluted in a carrier oil before being applied to your body. As far as how to mix essential oils to create different fragrances and scents, that'll be a discussion for another video. So make sure you press that subscribe button. Well, that brings us to the end of another exciting beard video. My beard and I would like to thank you for spending some time with us today. If you enjoyed our time together, like, comment, and subscribe below. To all you beard aspirers and beard admirers, my beard and I wish you safe travels, and we'll see you in the next video.